Abby Johnson with Web Pro News, and we're still at Blog World. Joining me right now is David Peralti of uh, CollegeCrunch.org. Is, <laughs> is primarily where I am right now. And you're also a blogger with XFEP, correct? That's correct. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> we're going to talk about advertising and pitching pitching advertisers, but specifically because um, because we're talking with several others about the same topic, but. You said not to focus, basically not to put all your eggs in one basket um, with a specific ad network. Right. Talk a little bit about that. Um, well, the biggest issue is that a lot of these ad networks, they don't have the fill rate to, to give you 100% of, of the what you need. So uh, diversifying is also great because if one ad network goes down, then you also have a backup as well. And ad rates are always changing, so finding who has the best ad rate for your traffic is also a very difficult process. Um, but very, very important because, of course, you want to get the most bang for the visitors that you are getting to your blog. And another uh, point that was brought up, people are talking about um, actually looking at your competitors to find, to find advertisers. <laughs> Well, and it's, it's, it's such a simple thing, right? You look at who your competitors are, you look at who's already opened their pocket and shelled out some money, most likely they're going to do it again. Or, or if they're not having success at that other site, they might have success with you. So there's no reason not to ask. The worst they can say is no. Mm -hmm. Makes perfect sense. Okay, now let's talk about <laughs> integrating new media into right. your blog. You, you talk a lot about, about new media, so here we go. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't use very much of it. And I was brought on the panel as kind of the anti-new media guy because um, I find that a lot of people add too much of it and it ruins the user experience. So you kind of really have to know what you know what the limitations are. You have to be very creative. Um, you have to understand the techni ne technical limitations of, of adding new media to your blog. So if you're adding video, you're you're asking your user to commit a lot more bandwidth and a lot more time on your site. But uh, you know during our session, one of the things that we really wanted to drive home was that it's very very easy to add this stuff. You know YouTube videos are copy and paste. Uh, you know all the different widgets that we showed today are almost all just copy and paste. So anyone can use it. It's really great. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Abby Johnson with WebPro News covering Blog World 2008.